Hi everyone and welcome to this week's instalment of Deucer TV News. I'm Joe. And I'm Chris. And here is your weekly dose of student news. Duncan of Jordanstone is planning to get in touch with thousands of its former students and staff in preparation for the College of Art and Design's 125th anniversary celebrations. Professor Tom Ince, Dean of DJCAD, explained, We want to hear from everyone for whom Duncan of Jordanstone has played a major role in their lives. This is a place where careers have been launched, where inspiration can be found in every corner. The full programme of anniversary events will be set out in the coming months. If you're wanting to share your stories about Duncan of Johnston, head over to the DJ CAD Memories Facebook page, found at the link below. On the 26th of February, Bray's Pub on the Perth Road will be running the Bright Club Variety Night. This event will feature comedy, music, and who knows, you might learn something new. Tickets cost £5 and are available from the link below. With the recent release of the film Hitchcock, there's been a newfound interest in the works of the famous director. To coincide with this, the DCA are going to be screening his classic horror film Psycho this Friday at 1pm and 6pm. As usual, tickets are £5.50 or £4.50 with a student card before 5pm and £6.50 after. Come along then and see the master of suspense at work. Dundee University professor Sue Black, world-renowned anatomist and forensic anthropologist, has been chosen by BBC Radio 4's Women's Hour as one of the most influential women in Britain. Professor Black was named amongst 100 others for the programme's 2013 Power List, yet another accolade to add to our long list of achievements. The urgent need for new drugs to treat infectious diseases in developing countries has prompted the creation of a new major drug discovery centre at the University of Dundee. The centre will be targeting neglected diseases such as tuberculosis, malaria and African sleeping sickness and promises to be a centre of excellence for lead optimization for diseases of the developing world. It's time to grab your tacky outfits from the back of the wardrobe, as this Thursday the Handball Club will host the first ever Bad Taste Party here at the Union. Prizes will be awarded for the worst dress, so make sure you look delightfully awful for a night that embraces terrible fashion choices. You can get your tickets for three pound at the Premier Shop on campus. After the success of their sellout performance last year, Dundee University's Dance Club will once again be showcasing their talent at the Garden Theatre next weekend. The performance, which has simply been dubbed The Show, will be presented on the 1st and 2nd of March and will feature a range of styles from ballet to hip-hop, so it's sure to have something for everyone. Tickets will be on sale outside the Union from Monday at 12pm and is priced at £5 for students. Dundee Uni's men's rugby team enjoyed yet another fantastic result on Saturday, decisively beating Bannockburn 51-12. The victory was yet another impressive performance from the lads, who triumphed 45-21 over Kirkcaldy last weekend, and now go to the top of the league. Tomorrow night at the ISC Sports Centre on campus, the university's annual dodgeball tournament will be taking place. The event has been hugely popular in recent years and looks set to be a big favourite again. Limited spaces are still available in the tournament, and at only £5 ends are a team, why not give it a go? The tournament starts at 7.30pm. From this week, we're starting a new series featuring on-location reports from in and around campus. The first episode of Have I Got A Bit More Dusa TV News For You will be released this week, so stay tuned. And that concludes this week's news in and around Dundee. If you have any news you'd like to see on next week's programme, be sure to send it to info at dusa.tv. That's, That's all for, for this week, week Dundee! Dundee. Hi everyone! Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Those little like, notifications have come up with just an S. <laughs> <laughs> Like next to my mouth <laughs> in a speech bubble. Well, no! Alright, why am I doing what you say? <laughs> and that concludes. Oh, that's, that's you. That's me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Do you want to just. That's a good time. <laughs> are we just filming nothing? What are we. What's going on? We could just have are a you really zooming in? Ending. You said .tv. That's all for this, this week, week, Dundee. Dundee. Stir? Yeah. <laughs> are you gonna, oh no, I don't know what oh, to do. Oh, do I need to keep, oh, do I oh, need to keep so doing the, the last yeah, syllable? Yeah, this is so.
That's, That's all for, for this, this week, week, Dundee. You're just too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is...